Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Many of you guys have been asking me to please do a video install tutorial on the PowerBoost 2.2 uh, script. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you today. We're going to install the script, show you how to apply the Unthrottle mod. And uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, also, BMC had told me that he's actually coming out with a a, a more user-friendly version of this script, so I'll be looking forward to that. But for today, I'm going to show you guys how to install 2.2, so head to the link in the description, download pb2.2.zip, and go ahead and get that on your SD card. Um, go into your file explorer. I use root browser from JRummy. It's just easy for me. And you're going to go to your SD card, where it's downloaded and find your download folder. You're looking for bp2.2.zip long hold and extract. Extract 2 and you're going to put that on your SD card extracted folder. So extract that there. As soon as that extracts, uh, for me it's not extracting the pb2.2 folder into this uh, into the spot here, so I'm going to have to move that from my SD card. I'll show you guys in just a minute. Okay, so now, see it didn't load it there, so I'm going to go back to my download folder. That's where it extracted it for some reason. Could be because I'm using JRummy's file manager. It may not do this in Root Explorer, but anyhow, I'm going to move it there. It may already be there for you. So I'll put that back in extracted. Okay, and then we want to put our setup.sh make sure that it's in that folder pb2.2 we'll paste that there and then we'll also paste our unthrottle folder in the pb2.2 so everything is in pb2.2 all right so when that's all together we're going to open up terminal emulator and run a command Okay, so first thing we want to do is give it super user permission, SU, and then we're going to type SH, make sure you get it correct or it's not going to work, space, forward slash, SD card, extracted, SD card forward slash, extracted, forward slash, capital P, capital B, 2.2 and make sure it's all correct. See, I'm I'm already messing up here. You want to make sure it's correct or it won't it won't work. 2.2 forward slash setup.sh And if you got it right, it should start the process. I'm going to have written instructions in the link in the description also, so you guys don't have to memorize everything that I'm saying. So it's moving everything around, creating all the proper paths. And this process here shouldn't take more than a minute or so. Okay, now it's asking what recovery are you currently using. I'm using Clockwork Recovery. And on the Bionic, that's Bionic Bootstrap. On the Droid X, uh, Droid 2, Droid 2, you know, the Bootstrapper. And then on Samsung Fascinate, you're probably using Clockwork. So we'll choose one. And now it's going to reboot my phone. So as soon as this reboots, we're going to come back and show you how to do the unthrottle modification. Okay, guys, when you've rebooted, uh, you're going to go back to Terminal Emulator. Go back to Terminal Emulator, type SU to give it super user permission. Then we're going to type a few commands here. S-Y-S-R-W. And then Power Boost to start up the script. So there's several options here. Uh, let's see, it's going to ask you, do you want to install BusyBox? I've already installed it, so I'm going to click no. If you haven't already installed it, do click yes. This will not work unless it's installed. So we've got several options here. Uh, the first thing you should do is back up uh, your phone. And so we'll go ahead and do that now. 
and select one to back up. So just give this a few seconds, it's going to back up the phone. Okay, so now that's done, we've got some modifications that we can choose from. There's uh, the unthrottle mod, that's what I'm most interested in. Uh, you have several other mods in number three here. Build out prop edits, init D, scripts, uh, and other tweaks. So now I'm going to say no because I don't want to do any of those right now. And let's see, there's Power Boost, Conservative, CPU Governor, so that's going to help you with, like, battery. Clockwork Recovery on every boot, that's just like a fail-safe in case you uh, miss flash something, you can always get back to Clockwork Recovery. Check Mods, Wipe Menu, Reboot, Recovery, Menu, and Exit. So right now I'm going to choose number two for Unthrottle. And it says that this modification violates the terms of service. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes, I want to do it anyways. Okay, so okay, we're going to from this point. Let's see, it, it did all of the. I guess it went on ahead and did the throttle. Okay, so now we're going to exit. So 10 to exit, and it's going to ask you which device you're on. I'm on the Bionic, so I'm going to select number 6. And it asks you if you'd like to donate. So uh, I'm not going to now, but you should definitely. Okay, so now it says... Um, All chosen mods hack are inside flashme.zip. It's located in SD card, unthrottle, flash it, in recovery, and enjoy. Okay, so we're done here. The next thing we want to do is get to clockwork. So for me, I'm going to access it via Bionic Bootstrap. Okay, so as soon as this boots up, I'll show you what to do here. Okay, so for me, on the Bionic, I'm going to go to install zip from SD card and choose it from internal SD card. And I'll need to find the unthrottle. There it is, the unthrottle. And there should be a flashme.zip. So you'll just install that. Click yes to install. It's going to flash that very quickly. This is a pretty intensive install here, and like I said, I will be posting the written instructions. Okay, so once we're finished here, we're going to go back and reboot the system. As soon as that comes up, we'll go back into Terminal Emulator and toggle the mod that we just made. We'll go ahead and toggle that on. I'll show you how to do that. And all of this work is going to be well worth it because you will no longer have buffering on your YouTube videos. The rest of those mods that are in the script I would suggest playing around with those, seeing the ones that you like and you don't like. You can always toggle those off if you don't like them. But they're all designed to make your phone very fast and to boost the power of your phone. I think they do a good job at that as well. So we'll give it a few seconds to populate once it reboots. It has to read the SD card here. And then we'll jump into Terminal Emulator. 
and run our commands. Okay, so we'll jump into the terminal, uh, into the terminal emulator app. SU to give super user permission. SYSRW and toggle mods. Okay. I don't see anything on the unthrottle, so I'm guessing that that is already installed here. This is for all the other mods that were listed, and if you had installed them, you'd be able to... Let me read here and make sure. Yep, okay, so there's not an unthrottle option here, but any of the other mods that you would have installed would be there. Uh, so right now I'm just going to exit it. Guys, that is PowerBoost 2.2. A very useful script. It's going to add tons of functionality uh, to your Android device. For now, it works on devices such as the Droid X, Droid Bionic, Droid 2, Droid 2 Global, and the Samsung Fascinate. Guys, enjoy PowerBoost 2.2. Check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E not a 3. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys.